again everyone excuse the uh, the poor lighting it's about half ten and it's a Saturday night I'm joined by the lovely Candice she's over in the dark somewhere we're at Bradwell on Sea on the coast in Essex the reason why we're here tonight is we've been in Suffolk we was starting a walk in East Burkholt which is the birthplace and the burial place of John Constable the famous painter famous for the Haywain yeah we were going to try and wild camp near there well the woodland that we saw was not viable it, was, it turned out to be a private woodland there was nowhere else and it would have been getting dark and we wouldn't have got the walk done in time so we mm. we abandoned the walk and I went I know a good place we can go just to do a good wild camp because Candice really wants to do a wild camp she wants to try out a one man tent which she's not used before and I said sod it let's go to Bradwell on sea and I've got a new sleeping bag as well I've got uh, like an ultra light uh, go light so they're no longer even in business anymore go light down sleeping bag I'm going to be testing that out I've not even tried it out yet so we'll see what it's like it's pretty warm there's a little sea breeze of course but it's been lovely weather all day we've been boiling so it shouldn't get too cold tonight we'll see anyways I'm waffling on we've got to get heading yep. over to the chapel and along the sea wall to a little beach area that I've found um, unofficial nudist beach I'm told <laughs> I don't know how I know these things anyway <laughs> and uh, yeah anyway enough talking let's get walking We just encountered an old man on his own walking along the sea wall up here, wrapped in like a towel and a pair of shorts. And I don't know if he was from the Athona Christian community or whether he was a nudist or just he was he was friendly enough, but you could tell not all his dogs were barking, bless him. So um, anyway, yeah, it gave us a bit of a shock actually because he come out of nowhere. But anyway, um, yeah, we're gonna get the stuff set up. Uh, we'll get back to you shortly. Candice has got a couple of new little presents as well, from me of course, because you know, I'm going for boyfriend of the year here. I've got uh, some uh, some packable rain trousers from Aldi. Uh, I've got her a little OEX pillow in here somewhere as well, a little inflating pillow, same as the one I've got. So, show you all that stuff uh, when we're set up. Okay, welcome back everyone. Once again, excuse the, uh, the wind noise. I think we might have a little bit of a storm blowing in. There's, uh, there's some lightning we can see in the sky over there, uh, in sort of further inland. Pretty windy, few little spots of rain, but not too bad. As you can see, we're set up. I've got my Rav Ridge Raider Hoot Bivy, Old Faithful. Uh, we've managed to peg everything in as well. And Candice is really impressed with this. She's got the Jack Wolfskin Gossamer one man tent. And I tell you what, it's a palace in there for her. We've got a little polycryo ground sheet laid out here. A couple of little sit mats. We've got oh, we've got a cider we're gonna share. So this is an Aspel's Perinel's Blush Suffolk Cider with a dash of blackberry juice. It's a 4% one. Um, Perinel's Blush Suffolk Cider is inspired by our grandmother Perinel, who loved foraging for blackberries in the hedgerows around the orchards at Aspel. Taste descriptor, attractive apple and blackberry define a sweetish palate with good acid balance and a long soft fruit finish. Serving suggestion, my favourite bit as always. Wonderful with duck and hoisin sauce and sharp fruit based puddings such as tart, ou citron and gooseberry full. Don't know if you're a tart but <laughs> we've got separate shelters tonight, I'm in trouble anyway. I'll tell you what we have got to go with it though. We've got from a British Army ration pack, we've got some brown biscuits, otherwise known as shit crackers. And we've got some cheddar cheese flavoured spread. <laughs> I know how to treat you, I tell you. 
anyway, so we're going to tuck into this. Um, hopefully, if the weather's uh, calmed down a bit in the morning, I'll show you the setups inside and that. But we should be cosy, and I'll show you my new uh, Go Light down sleeping bag. It, it looks pretty comfy and warm, so yeah, we should be good. Candice has got a new uh, rain trousers on. Yeah. Likes them. They're a bit baggy, but they're nice and warm. They're warm. They fit exactly. They keep the rain off. Anyways, yeah, we're all good. Right, we're gonna crack on with some food. We'll chat to you soon. Hope you can hear all that. Cheers. Tasty, I'm not going to lie. I'll probably give that. I'd give it an 8 out of 10. I really like it. It's not as good. We had one at home which we didn't review, and I wish we had a done because it was so nice. It was like a red one with like berries in them. Was it raspberry? Yeah, it was like a raspberry asphalt. It was brilliant, and that was like a 9 out of 10 easily, but yes, yeah, it's an 8 out of 10, second best, but it's still pretty good. Cheers. Okay, we've uh, nearly done the side already. Well, Candice says, yeah, she's drunk the majority of it, while I was sorting the cheese and crackers out. They're nothing special, I'm not going to lie. be sick on a bit of cardboard but it's not too bad really uh, British Army cheese spread in these crackers very salty um, excuse me I don't know you know you can taste the preservatives in it but it's not as good as the cider but it's a nice they go well together so are slightly civilised right now. Cheese and crackers and a posh side on a beach somewhere in Essex. Perfect. Come outdoors. Goes bloody coastal. Right, we've yeah finished the cheese and crackers off and the cider. Packed away the ground tarp and Candice is looking after that. She's climb into her tent for the night. I'll quickly show you inside there. It's like an absolute palace in there. It'll be well toasty. Oh, okay. Hang on, it's focusing and auto focusing. There we go. But yeah, she should be pretty warm in there tonight. Um, I should quickly show you in mine, but I'll show you the... I'll go through the gear setups in the morning and stuff. Uh, hopefully when, yeah, the the winds died down and whatnot. And, uh, oh, get me lamp set up first. It's fallen over. Yeah, we think the the lightning and stuff is moving away from us. It's moving further inland, which is good. So yeah, it's my own for the night. That's my new go light sleeping bag surprising amount of room in, in the Bradbridge Raiders okay well we're both inside our respective shelters and uh, pretty comfy Candice has just said she's really warm yeah. really comfy um, I think 
think I can hear some thunder actually now. Yeah. A little bit of rain, but uh, yeah, she's got loads of space in there. And likewise, I've got a lot of space in here where the wind is sort of blowing in this way. I've got the mesh door up and the storm door half up. It's sort of keeping the bivvy sort of like sort of blowing it like a wind sock and it's tons of room in here. My new sleeping bag feels really warm. The new sleeping mat feels incredibly comfy. All in all, pretty good. We'll see how the weather um, holds out overnight. Um, yeah, and see how it goes really, but we haven't really got to be out of here particularly early because it's a it's a pretty easy sort of place to to wild camp really no one seems to mind you know mind you doing it and stuff so um yeah we'll play it by ear see how things go really but yeah we'll let you know how we how we get on in the morning and whatnot and i'll go through all the gear list gear lists and show you around the place in the morning so yeah, see you in the morning. everyone we both slept very well very warm very cozy probably the best pitch I've ever managed to get this Radbridge Raider shed the rain really well because we did have rain between like 1 and 2 in the morning quite heavy the wind was quite strong and then it passed really it's still quite windy out there at the moment I sort of woke up just randomly at 20 past 5 looked out the bivvy and saw the sun was coming up so I thought I'd quickly capture that okay I don't know whether you're going to be able to hear too much because of the wind here but show you the, uh, the gear we used last night on this little camp so starting off with me I've got my Rab Ridge Raider hoop bivvy as I mentioned it's pitched really well because I had this mesh door up most of the night and this storm door like sort of half closed so cool air was coming in and it was just lofting up the whole of the bag and it stayed like that most of the night so when it did rain it just bounced off this. I have re-proofed it like with some waterproof spray stuff. Excuse me. So it worked really well. Got my Osprey Talon 33 litre rucksack down at the, the head end. Usual two litres of water in the now gins a big dry bag for my shoes that's my cocoon silk sleeping bag liner so the new bit of kit is this sleeping bag here by go light so it's a down bag I'm trying to find out the name of it and stuff I can't really remember here we go so it's a go light Venture 40 degree men's large sleeping bag uh, 800 fill goose down so it's a goose down bag and 
uh, is rated down to 40 degrees Fahrenheit or 4 degrees Celsius well I'm sure you could go cold with it it's only a rough guidance anyway because everyone sleeps at different temperatures then inside we've got my OEX uh, Evolution Fulcrum full length inflatable sleeping pad that thing is so comfy I've had like every time I've taken it out now I've had a good night's sleep on it last night I slept so well no night terrors apparently underneath it is the Terranova laser sleeping pad down the bottom there just just in case there was any sharp objects in the sand it wouldn't come through and poke hole in in that I'm trying to look after that so it's an ultralight foam pad and it just helps with that really underneath it all Be a like Tyvek ground sheet, and a silver crystal aluminium reflective ground sheet as well. Oh. Got my outkit titanium cook pots in there, and a little mini Esbit stove, titanium. Um, got my outkit Kraku gas stove somewhere in here. I think that's in the pots as well. A through night head torch couple more through night lights a lot of the food we didn't really get to eat just because it was quite windy and we thought well we're not going to try uh, uh, try cooking in this wind we weren't really that hungry to be fair it's always good to have plenty of food uh, I've got my new OEX camera in here as well the OEX Equinox so I've been sort of capturing a a few shots with it and stuff to see what it's like but I'm still sort of testing it out at the moment uh, I don't know why I bought this really the Vargo titanium hexagon wood stove um, let's say we hadn't planned to camp here last night this was like a last minute decision so where we was going to camp in the forest up at East Burkholt would have been fine but yeah, it was a private forest we found out uh, it's just an assortment like ditty bag with stormproof matches, uh, lip balm, some multi-purpose soap, the micro muff for the, this camera, uh, my spork, some wet wipes, paracetamol, my pen knife, hand sanitizer, a little mini compass is in there, uh, repair kit for one of the mats then that's like lights and electronics so another light headphones spare batteries uh, that's about it in that one uh, I've got my stuff sack pillow there as well so it's got spare clothing gloves um, rain jacket waterproof trousers turns it into a pillow as well OEX uh, little pillow as well. Candice has now got one of those as well. Uh, I think that's about it really for kit. Oh yeah, I was probably going to have this uh, British Army ration pack fruitful muesli with milk. Just add some cold water to it. And I've got a cereal bar in my little rab hat as well. that up but yeah it's a great little kind of set up the uh the bivy I do like it got these little foam sit mats that are they're basically like backrests from um Gossamer gear rucksacks ultra like rucksacks they're frameless packs and comes with that built in so I just take that out to Candice's little setup. As I say, she's got a Jack Wolfskin Gossamer One Man Tent. She absolutely loved it. So, oh, go on, you're coming out then, yeah? Okay. But, here she is. Morning camper.
yeah, a lot of the stuff now I've kind of given her to own. It's hers, so like the pink blacks uh, apex down sleeping bag that is uh, now hers. She's got a uh, new waterproof over trousers there. This pad is a full length firm arrest self inflating pads that used to be mine I've said you can have that now because I've got my OEX fulcrum one of course you've got tons of space in this tent she's got herself a little OEX pillow now as well um, underneath all of this is same as mine a Tyvek ground sheet and a ripstop aluminium silver reflective ground mat so they're both hers as well now that's my down jacket I lent her the Outkick Gordon 30 litre dry bag rucksack, that's still mine. I buy them looking for looking for, uh, for one for her. Um, she's got some food as well. Like I say, we was going to cook some of that up, but it's a bit difficult in this wind, really. It would just end up wasting gas or fuel. But, uh, yeah, great little tent, this. You've got pockets on either side as well as another one over there. There is a little porch just in there to so keep your shoes and any wet gear or anything. You've got this door that zips up in two places. Really good like Dyneema cord line lockers as well. And of course you've got the main storm door as well. Apparently when it's really nice weather you can unclip all of this roll it up and fold it back and use it like a kind of like my bivy bag like that really so the mesh door and let the air through yeah it's a great little tent I think I got it on eBay under a hundred quid when I uh, when I first bought it I can't really remember I've had it so long so but it's a great tent yeah all in all yeah the gears work really well again so a good one yeah apologies if you couldn't hear most of this the wind's really really bad um, I don't know what that OEX camera's going to be like if it's going to be any better in the wind like I say I'm still testing it out so Posts jutting out of the river near Sales Point are known to be a Saxon fish trap. The pillbox here was built in World War II to help defend the coast from invaders. A line of ex Port of London Authority lighters were installed just off the coast to help prevent coastal erosion. Electricity was first generated at Bradwell Nuclear Power Station in 1962. Decommissioning started in 2002, making it the first UK nuclear plant to be closed on a planned basis. Now housed in protective cladding, it will stand like this for many years to come. Bradwell Shell Bank Nature Reserve, or Bradwell Cockle Spit, is managed by the Essex Wildlife Trust. It consists of 30 acres of shell bank and salt marsh. The beach-like spit is built up by tidal currents and is mainly cockle and oyster shells. An RAF war memorial marks the entrance of the disused World War II Bradwell Bay airfield. It was built in 1940 to strengthen Britain's east coast defences against possible invasion. The grass landing strip turned into an RAF station with concrete runways and hangars but inevitably closed in 1946. The ancient isolated chapel of St Peter's on the Wall was originally constructed as an Anglo-Celtic church for the East Saxons in AD 654 by St Sed who was educated in Lindisfarne. 
It was built on the ruins of the abandoned 3rd century Roman fort of Athona. Athona is a modern Christian community which aims to live in harmony with nature. The founder, Norman Motley, was an RAF chaplain and started the community in 1946 as a place for people to come together for periods of reflection, discussion, discovery and spiritual renewal. Okay, well welcome back. We've uh, made it back to the car here at the car park for St Peter's on the Wall Chapel which is about a 10 minute walk down there. And yeah, we was of course wild camped further along the sea wall that direction so we've done basically a circular walk of the northern part of the Dengue Peninsula so it's a really good walk really recommend it that's the end of this video so I've got to head off to work I've got to drop Candice off it's been a, a great weekend again and the weather's been beautiful so cheers to Candice for coming along with us always making it special and thank you at home for watching as well. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you for the continued support as always. And cheers to the new subscribers. And uh, yeah, get in the comments. Let us know what you think. Etc, etc. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you soon. Cheers. Bye.